Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Dark Quest 3, a turn-based tactics RPG roguelike, with even a little bit of deck building in there as well, that I'm excited to be checking out here today. Out now in 1.0 on Steam, so let's pop on in on normal. Challenge me. Create a party of four heroes. Gee, what a tough choice. I think I'll go with these four. Barbarian, dwarf, archer, wizard. I like how a dwarf is a class. Help! Click on this window to learn about the game. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna flip through this. I'll give you the cliff notes. Okay, so more or less, we take a turn with one of our characters. Seems like of our choice. Then they get to take a turn. And we go back and forth. Uh, the purple glowing one is the one that's going to perform an action next. You can kind of see what their strategy will be by clicking on them. Uh, there is no maximum health, meaning we can just keep on healing and healing and healing a single unit and stack up their health as high as I could possibly go. Um, what else? There is, you know, if you have two units by a, another unit, you gain bonus damage. And the rest seems to be stuff that we can basically learn as we go on. It's just, usually that's my least favorite tutorial format. But we are going to be moving through the deck by clicking here uh, and kind of getting random events and slowly going through just like a randomly generated deck. Or procedurally generated deck, I suppose. The Elder nods as you approach. Adventurers, I've gathered you here to wish you well. Only you can stop the evil wizard and his chaos magic. Good luck. Upgrade my... Ca I don't think I can. Let's just begin the journey for now. The wagon merchant greets you warmly. Heroes, everything rests on you. Please take this armor to aid your quest. Learn or upgrade a hero card. Uh, Let's upgrade... You know, let's upgrade the dwarf. Iron barrel. So we're upgrading a barrel card. Create a barrel that attracts attention and can take up to two hits. Returns back two to three body damage when it breaks. Deals one damage in a three by three when it breaks. Let's let's create a taunt barrel. Sure. The alchemist ushers you over. Please, fellows, take a potion to strengthen you for the challenges ahead. Choose a hero to drink the potion and restore one to three health. Uh, I mean, let's... Here's the thing. It's like, they have less, so obviously it seems scary, but... You'll also be more likely to be taking hits. We'll run you up there, and then we'll have the barrel to off-tank and stuff, and maybe the dwarf can take a little bit if we need to. May the spirits guide you on the path ahead. Venture forth and slay all that oppose you. Enter the forest. Great forest. The forest comes alive as tendrils snake and lash towards you. Prepare yourselves. Ambush, upgrade hero, and attack. Your first battle. Okay. Try not to die. So they get to go first here. And now I get to make a choice. You're going to be the next one that goes. Strategy is attacking the closest enemy. Move and stand. So these are both primary actions. Okay, good. We got the three. Oh, but that changes. Yeah, okay. That checks out. Interesting. So, so like, um, huh. That checks out. So, like, the action economy kind of way of playing is completely irrelevant. Interesting. Sorry. It's such a simple thing right there, but it breaks everything I have come to understand as truth. So this is a secondary action. Create a barrel that attracts attention and can take up to two hits. So movement is like full on. We can go freaking anywhere. It also, okay. So it looks like they have done their turns and we are now done. So I guess, okay. Action economy still can be a thing. But you don't really gain anything by attacking the purple enemy. You don't you don't get anything by killing the purple enemy unless it is the last enemy to act. Gotcha. 1 to 3 body damage ranged. Takes extra damage from attacks because you Oh, the barrel counts as being uh well, either way. Select a position to move to. I'll stay right here. All right. 
Move to target position, gain armor, instantly move you to target location as a secondary action. I feel like I'll be able to do this anyways. So, like, it's super free with the positioning, which is very intriguing to deal with here. So, you are going next, which is now relevant. You're already taking bonus damage. Because you've already gone. So, we do have to care. Huh. It's it's neat, and it's it's kind of like... It's simplistic, but it's kind of like a... It's an elegant type of simplistic. We'll see how it goes moving forward, though. Your party grows stronger. Use your experience to upgrade one of your heroes. Learn or upgrade a hero card or upgrade an attack card. Hmm. I guess I will go for... An upgraded attack. Okay, so it's, it's very straightforward, just like a plus one. Can we go back and say... I just want to make sure that it's all the same. The fact that you could do one is... A bit eh. I'll, I'll actually upgrade the wizard. And now we're going to really have to protect you. Oh, we get to do both. Good. Select a character. All right. Can target small sizes, deal one body damage, remove all actions from the target. Attacks back once every three weapon attacks. So it's kind of like a, a passive, I assume. Throws an axe for two to three body damage once every... Additional attack once every four attacks. Hmm. I guess I'll go with counterattack for now. Out of nowhere, a pack of wolves leap from the tree line and block your path, baring their teeth and growling. You won't be able to continue on this path without a fight. Back off, take a different path. You know what? Sure. We get to upgrade a hero. We'll just go in on it, right? Okay, so you get to go first. I do feel like dropping down a barrel makes a lot of sense. And then uh, we, for units that are bigger than one tile, the two by two here, we need three units adjacent. 50% chance to do double damage on your next attack? Sure. The barrel doesn't have taunt. The barrel doesn't have taunt. That was one of the other options. So he does indeed want to, he, like he has a little bit of actual uh, intelligence to him there. Unless you have different, um... Attacks the closest enemy. No? Okay. Alright. For how much? One to two? Move to position and gain one armor, one magic resist. If we went down there and we killed you, I think we'd have a problem. I would consider you to be the closest, but we run the risk if the wizard... You're definitely not the closest, so I guess what we could do is run here. We could even flank you for the guaranteed kill. And then you should get a hit in here. Good. All right. And now this shouldn't matter too much. I think we're going to want to flank. Do we get... Oh, we definitely want to flank because we have kill. All right. So, yeah, we there's a little bit of learning. A little bit of learning in the simplicity, but your party grows stronger. Use your experience to upgrade one of the heroes. I think it's worth it. Upgrade one of your heroes. Just just in general. It's another just another card. Oh, we can upgrade it to attack back once every two. I'll do it. We'll really have you be like a crazy aggro tank. You meet a tree ant in the forest that seems different from the others. Its body cracks as it unfurls, revealing some gifts. Waits for you to choose in silence. Heal a character for five to seven, or attack the tree ant to okay to get a rune. Uh, plus one armor on heroes. Start of combat. I think I would not mind a big old honking heal. I think just early on since I took that that beef it hit. 
Fresh water careens down the, from the waterfall. You drink deeply. Feeling revitalized. Heal a random character by wounded. Okay. That's, that's fine. Actually, probably good. So, Barbarian. Roll the skull of fate. Roll this to discover your fate. So we have a random Seven. chance here. Nothing happens. Uh, I don't... We have the ability to do one reroll. I'm not going to do it. Especially since, like, we have a special resource. I'm not going to try and heal for one. Uh, increase the party's health by one. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and you feel grand. What a day. We take that. A thief with some with a somewhat welcome look in his face approaches you. Greetings, travelers. I'm from the Thieves Guild and will happily help you on your quest. Upgrade the forest. I feel like gain four crystals, upgrade the forest. I'm gonna gain money? Are we gonna do both? Have a look at these upgrades, friend. I'm sure you'll find them most useful and aid you on your quest. Uh, unlock and acquire the Overwhelm Blade. Unlock an alternative experience for the Lancer. Increase all single heroes healing in this area by one to two. Okay. Nothing we can do right now. Thief with the someone welcome look. Yep, 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 yep. We'll back out. Something unusual catches your eye behind the trees. Investigating, you find someone trapped in a hanging cage. They ask you to release them, explaining that they're an apt lancer. New hero unlocked. Archer, test your perception. Archer steps in some thorns. Great. Roll the dice to see what happens. Seven. I'm definitely not re-rolling that. Why do you even check? Actually, I'd like to take some damage. You come across a body on the road. From its putrid odor and blotchy, bloated skin, you surmise it's been here some time. I'll fight a zombie if that is what it comes to. You search the body for valuables. It's not like they'll need them anymore. Roll the dice to see what you find. Ooh. Nine. Ooh. Only good outcomes. Add three damage on your next attack. I think those are like one-time use things. Your attacks deal maximum damage for this entire battle. Oh, that is an interesting call. It's probably like a difference of... Well, the thing is we could roll that anyways. I like... I really like guarantees. You're startled by some unusual sounds emerging from the trees and bushes beside you. Are they worth investigating? There may be treasure. Or worse. I'll get ambushed. Sure. Roll the dice to see what happens. One, a large grizzly bear roars and attacks you. Nothing, or acquire a combat card. Five. No, I think that we save our roll to roll off of something bad, right? And we get a bear anyways. A savage bear emerges from the woods, surprisingly silently. How did a bear learn to sneak like that? Act fast. I'll, I'll go for it. I'll go for it. Fight a freaking bear. Is it scary? Sure. So if I did this, and then I did an attack, then it can forcefully attack the barrel and we get to go absolutely ham. Okay, the barrel seems busted then. You get to do bonus damage. All right. Your party grows stronger. Use your experience to upgrade one of your heroes. Choose a hero. I mean, for single targets like that, it seems kind of busted. Creates a barrel. I, the spike barrel. So we have three different types of barrels that we could spawn. They're all unique. I thought that we were initially choosing to upgrade our... We had a barrel summoning ability and we were choosing how to upgrade it. Returns back two to three damage. It's just a different barrel. I mean, let's go for the iron barrel for now. Since, you know, that is a whole nother secondary action, which we would need to have another turn to do. The blacksmith eyes you as you approach. Well met, adventurer. What do you need? Acquire an equipment card. Attacks adds, or adds one on attack cards that do body damage or plus one armor at the start of battle. I'll grab the chainmail to theoretically put 
Yeah, okay. I feel like it just makes sense, right? We want you to take some hits. Yes, we have the barrel, but surely we will have a barrel die at some point. You've reached the edge of the forest. On the horizon, you see landmarks to explore. Where would you like to go? Go to the Undead Ruins, Mushroom Kingdom. We'll go to the Undead Ruins. Undead Ruins! A handful of barrels are stacked in the corner of the room. You can break them to see if they have anything of value inside. Yes. Who knows what secrets they hold inside? Six. Oh boy. Explode deal one damage to the entire party. I mean, we could re-roll. We got an extra die from somewhere. We could re-roll if that happened. Wizard, test your strength. Wizard, a large portcullis blocks the path forward. You think you can lift it if you put your back into it. Test your strength to see what happens. Oh. Eight. Wizard's strength is getting tested. What is the likelihood that I... I mean, well, I know the likelihood. It's, you know, one in five. It's... I don't think that that is necessarily worth rolling off of. Archer, test your perception. Archer, you're about to step into a dangerous trap. Two spears are lodged in the far wall at chest height. Test your perception to see if you trigger them. That seems... Oh, let's go. You notice the trap and tread carefully. Ten! Okay. Archer, oh my god. Please, for the love of god. Two. Random ally. Okay, this is worth re-rolling. Because we're good at this. That character is good at that. Agility, intelligence. Yeah, you have decent perception. Wizard getting strength checked is not good. <laughs> you spy a horde of shambling undead monsters in the ruins. What do you do? Absolutely let me in. Okay, so put down the iron barrel. We can take all three hits this turn. And not even have to worry. You are ranged, so I wouldn't be shocked if you can uh, say who cares. Strategy attacks random enemies. Gotcha. So that's, I mean, there's nothing I'm going to be able to do about that then. You both attack random enemies. I don't, I don't like that. So we can get the plus one damage. So there's a small chance we could get the kill there anyways. Because you're by the barrel. You have magic resist. If I move in, it becomes three to four damage. It becomes a 50-50. And if I fail... Do damage in a line. Stun small, which that could be very much a thing. I guess I'll just use this now. Watch it be... It was enough anyways. We didn't get to know that. We just... We could have just assume. Alright. That's quite the... <laughs> quite the way to go. Alright. So we should do plus one damage. There's a small chance... Okay, we get to go again? It's fine. Alright, we need to look at their strategies before their turn Choose now. Hero. Upgrade. I mean, the fact that we could counterattack every time, theoretically, sounds... I can't believe that. Okay. Hopefully we don't get randomized enemies now, though. This room appears to be empty, but that only makes you more curious to uncover its secrets. Wizard, Always. Test your perception. You begin searching the room looking for false bricks and cracks to reveal some amazing hidden treasure. Or passage. Roll the dice to see if you find anything. Two. Oh, come on. You're... Seven. You should be good at that. 
Your attacks deal max damage for this battle, plus two armor and magic resist. And we can put that on anybody. I really like the sound of that one. I have an offer for you. The sorcerer what makes you an offer. Sacrifice one of your heroes, and I'll gift you 2,000 gold. A good deal, no? What is your reply? I mean, that actually does seem like a good deal, but I'm going to refuse just because we're early on here. Archer, test your perception. Perception. Two. It's fine. Uh-oh. This majestic feature it may have been may have provided water for the entire keep before it was abandoned many moons ago. On the horizon, a large winged dragon is perched on a mound of golden bodies. Lots of bodies. On first kill, heals your character by one. Let's do it. This seems like a bad idea. I would love to do it. Two to three magic damage. I mean, I'd say as per you. Okay, so what's your deal? Attacks random enemies, of course. Attacks the lowest health enemy. Don't like that. So if I perhaps block you in. By doing this. Am I crazy? You shouldn't be able to move through. Okay, he ended up hitting the barrel. So, did it work? I I mean, maybe. Okay. We could have the wizard move in, and it wouldn't actually matter. Because this guy, you need four, we need four units by him to do the bonus damage. Seven. Four. All right, so now we just need to do the th three. I mean, it is going to make you attack, but... You do three damage, and I just don't really want that to fly. Uh, this should be a guarantee. Take extra damage from attacks, deal bonus damage when you attack. So it seems like we have, like, a double here. But... I do sort of like the idea of just getting the guarantee. You're attacking lowest health target, which should be the barrel. Yeah, I was going to say. Should just be the barrel. All right, that went beautifully. That could have been so much worse. Powerful rune materializes in front of you. Its magic power will surely help you and your party. Let's go. You spy a horde of shambling undead monsters in the ruin. I, no mercy, man. We've been absolutely killing it. Give me a non-random. Closest. Closest closest. Let's go. Okay. I don't think I... I don't want to risk moving too much closer. Okay, so then now you're going there. If I move like a dwarf in here, am I still good? Theoretically, I sure feel like the barrel's closer to you. One, two. I mean, if I move you here, I guess I don't care if the, uh, if the Barbarian gets hit, you do how much? One to two? Every three attacks removed? Yeah, it's actually in my best interest to for you to be the closer one for right now. 
Wait, you, why'd you do three damage? Oh, because you have, you can flank as well. Gotcha. I only did two. Oh, that's right, because you can do one. I need to upgrade my archer, man. Okay, this end this ended up being annoying. We might as well stay here, right? Cuz yeah, we have to the things we have to take the two there. We do get the kill, but yeah, upgrade an attack card. You need to be doing more. We can't have you rolling ones. A thief with a somewhat welcome look in his face approaches you. Greetings, traveler. I'm from the Thieves Guild, and I'll gladly help you on your quest. Upgrade the Undead Ruins. Hmm. So this is probably, like, for all future runs. That's at least that would be my guess. Sure. You feel a draft emanating from behind a large bookshelf. Secret passage, perhaps. You could move it and see what's on the other side. Dwarf, test your strength. Eight. I was going to say, you should be pretty good at it. This old keep has many rooms. This one's full of discarded equipment. You could probably find some useful weapons and armor if you searched it thorough. Two magic shield to start a battle. Adds one on attack cards with magic damage. Okay. I don't know if I can double up on armor for you. Like, I don't know if that's a thing that we can do. So I don't want to risk it. Let's just do this. We'll give you that. It's obviously useful. It's by a horde of shambling undead. I mean, I'm getting sure. I'll keep on fighting undead. Next attack will remove all actions from the enemy. Is that the a buff that they have, or is that closest, closest, closest? Good. There's a chance this instant kills. Good. Wait. You attacked your ally there? Two to three. Oh, there's no guarantee that I get you if I go in there, but you you do how much? You did three. I'll risk the one for the kicks and wiggles. All right. So worse comes to worse, this is two damage. And then bare minimum, this would be two as well. Unfortunately, that matters. Well, we'll start here in case we do the double. Okay. This should actually kill. Oh. There's no path there? I. What? Are you okay? Weird. Oh, this is not a tile. Okay, so you're correct, but it... Ugh, that doesn't... Okay. I wish that there was, like, a very, very, very faint grid on the ground so that we wouldn't be screwed over by things like that. So there's a chance we're fine anyways, is the thing. 
We're not. Well, yeah, yeah, we are. Wait. It doesn't end up mattering. I forgot. We gotta go. We gotta go first. Stop. No, I'm trying to put that back. Okay, so I'm glad it wasn't a bug. It's not a bug, it's just a uh, a weird visual thing. Select a character. One to three magic damage for three enemies? You cannot be detect or targeted by cards. Deal plus one damage on your next attack. One magic resist to all allies and two for yourself. One to two magic damage per character in a line and stun small units. I think I'm going to go with the lightning storm here first. Okay, so you attack random. Yes, sir. Doesn't mean it doesn't make sense to put down the barrel. In fact, by the same token as before, I think it's really logical to... I mean, yeah, you can do extra damage to me, but you maybe you'll attack the... Uh, okay, hold on. If I put you here, then I am. Then he's closer than the barrel. Do you do magic damage? Body damage. And you attack like... You would attack like both. Hmm. So I guess maybe we would shoot. If I block you in, you can't attack someone scarier, though. So I think I have to go in. Theoretically, you can't get anywhere else. Yeah, I mean, I mean, ow, obviously, but like... Uh, now it kind of makes the most sense to put the dwarf in here. As much as it's a little bit... It is a little odd. We could get lucky. We need to get at least a two and the double. Close. So yeah, we, take, we only take one because we had armor. And now we go in and we do... Some more... Besmacking. Don't even move. Okay. I kind of I like how lightweight the combat is. I really do. That sounded like there was a butt, but there's not. <laughs> it's just it's very it's like a very streamlined, no nonsense kind of a take on this in a way that feels nice and tight. I don't know. I. I like it. I wish that, like, the some of the... Because uh, the events that pop up where it's, like, some shambling zombies, some shambling zombies. It's the same text, even though it often is different monsters. So it, it feels like maybe a... You know, just have a couple more variations on it. Uh, I didn't even use your move there. What do you got? Double damage once every four attacks. Start of combat, you have a 50% chance to attack an enemy. That actually sounds pretty cool. Sure. You find a stash of coins on the floor, finders keepers. There may be some fights where attacking a unit. Roll the skull of fate. One. I mean, I can't do anything about it. The thing that would be annoying is if you lose a character to just a string of random rolls, of course, but. That's kind of, I think, pulling from this sort of um, tabletop-y RPG angle where it's like, I, you know, sorry. But if you were, ex if you wanted it, your success to only be purely from strategy, I could see that being frustrating for sure. The armies of the undead have gathered in a pass that leads out, into, out of the ruins, preventing your exit. The only way forward is through them. Ready your weapons. Um, what were the things we had we have, like, a potion here. I mean, if they're permanent, it's kind of like, to an extent, it's like, why not? The wizard does have a teleport. Ooh, we got a free pot shot. And then you're also the one who's going next. 
Lowest health, that will be the barrel. Closest, closest. Okay, and if I... So if I kill you... One, three, magic damage, three enemies. Which makes the most sense to do this. Doesn't really matter where you go. We just know that we want that kill there, and then you're going to go for the barrel. You're going to theoretically go for the barrel as well. Oh my god. So much louder than the other stuff. But I also don't get a choice on that one. Alright, so you're going to come in. You're theoretically attacking double. If I attack here... The barrel should definitely still be the closest. You probably were going to kill there anyways, but I just don't think it matters in this scenario. Um, all right, let's process. Because next turn is obviously going to be less clean. We're most likely to get a kill here. Can we do drink? We can't do this every... Yeah, it's, it's once per fight, but it's... Pretty darn important that we... Yeah, that checks out. Just want to be able to flank. We did get... We got the double. It's just... It was important that we, uh, you know... Had it there. Uh, you attack this way. Get the bonus. Oh, I missed a passive or something that you had. Blocks a body attack once every three hits. Well, well, well. Screw with thine self. You can't do it again, though. And this guy's already gone, so we get another free turn. Bonus damage, because we're flanking. Teleport's free, right? Once per combat, we get to do that. Choose a hero. Let's go for... 100% chance to attack an enemy at the start of combat. You know what? Sure. No randomness in there. Select a character. I feel like the dwarves needs help pretty badly. You reach the resting place of many heroes. If your prayers are answered, you may bring back those who fell too soon. Didn't happen. Next. Archer, test your perception. When are you ever going to get Seven. dex checked? These provisions seem questionable at best. Wait, what? Poison a hero for two to four turns, unable to heal or heal a hero? What? I... <laughs> Why is it a choice? Because we have to do both. You won't need to heal. Eleven health, that'll be fine. Wizard, test your perception. Five. Dodge. So I guess maybe if they have high enough perception, they can they even can have like a super success. Handful of barrels. Oh, let's do it. I'll chance it again. Two. Perhaps not a nine. Oh, it changes the odds. It actually makes the odds more in your favor. Oh my god. Uh, fresh food. Oh, fresh food and water. Perhaps the owner's left in a hurry. I want to, like... Yeah, I mean... I want to take hits with the Barbarian. So we just keep stacking you up, I think. Reach the end of the ruins. On the horizon, you see landmarks to explore. Where would you like to go? The Goblin Caves or the Fire Pits? We only got one choice here for now. Goblin Caves. Goblin Caves. Yep. Four. Roll the skull of fate. Oh god. Five. We take it. We'll take nothing. Archer, test your perception. Entire party takes one four. to four damage, please. Three. Uh Okay. That could have been a lot worse. If everybody took four, that would actually be the worst thing that happened to us the whole game so far. The witch shoots a toothless smile at you. She's pleased you agreed. 
Go ahead, roll. If you win, I'll bless your weapons. If you lose, I'll curse them. She lets out a shrieked laugh, covering you in foul-smelling spittle. Uh, attacks deal minimum damage or attacks deal maximum. Eight. Thank you. Woo! Oops, one second. You've entered a cave with a large number of goblins who are displeased by your presence. They draw weapons and prepare for battle. Test perception. I will never run. Heal a random ally when damaged. Closest. Highest health. Closest. Um... Can go invisible. Oh, wait, there's one over here, too. Huh. You have magic range damage. Going for closest. I mean, if, if these two are both closest, we'll go for the taunt barrel. I like the idea of having you... It doesn't really matter where we go on this. Just back away. Oh. You're not... Oh, oh, you're stealthed. You're currently stealthed. I wonder if we could hit you. Well, I mean, you have the resist. So it wouldn't matter. I didn't see that they were... In this moment, stealthed. Um... Yeah, basically no health. Select a position to move to. I'd like to perhaps move to... Uh, wait, what? Hello? I wanted to move behind the card. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to move here. What are you doing? Attack? Move here. Thank you. Okay. Oh, jeez, man. You attack the highest health enemy and you attack the barrel. Why? I'm not upset about it, but I am confused. Um, okay. So even though you have the resist, I kind of like this for now. For next turn, getting you out of the way. Blessed. So we're always going to be doing three, but we can't target you. I mean, the highest health enemy is you. I mean, Al. It was no joke, but still. Select a character. Kind of curious. I don't know if I want to. Oh, so surprise attack actually is maxed out. One every three attacks will evade. Select up to three targets. Oh, you get to pick them. So the double sword means it's a bonus action. Barrel taking four hits would be really, really good. Small Target small size, deal one body damage, and remove all actions from the target. I mean, seems great. It, but it's a, yeah, it's a one time per fight. Seems good. Alas, alas, though. I think that is that, and that's going to do it here for today, but... I don't know this i i know that this game i think in its early access launch it had a rough time for whatever reason um i don't think it was like people were mad at it but i think it had some issues but then like the reviews started to pick up and pick up and pick up i don't have the frame of reference for how it was when it came out for the first time in early access i only have the frame of reference for now and i would say like I could see a group of people being frustrated with some of the random randomizing elements. And typically I'm a kind of a person where I could be sometimes as well. But 
in... And yes, I know, it's a roguelike, random. Yeah. But I think that also, when you're looking at this... I think you have to look at this game in a slightly different way than you would look at, like, a normal dungeon-crawling roguelike. You have to look at this more of, like, a kind of tabletop... Like, light tabletop-adjacent kind of experience. And when you do it that way, and less of a frame of, like... A hyper. I mean, and and you can get strategic. You can get really strategic. Uh, I think that you would have a better time with it. I think that the like the simplistic art style can sometimes like this look can sometimes be not done well. The very like light minimalist painty look can look kind of um, low effort. But here, I think it actually ends up looking really good. I really I love how beautifully simple the combat is because it is. It is absolutely still strategic, right? It's just... Because there's, there's a difference between easy to understand and easy to do well, right? So, you know, easy to understand, hard to master, that kind of thing. Like, I could see that being the case here. Like, I felt like I found a really good strategy and with the barrel. But, you know, that would start to fall apart in future fights when, you know, we get to the second round and I can't do the... I can't use the barrel the second turn, um, you know? And I think we would have to find some other way to adapt beyond that. Uh, but I really, really like it. And, like, thinking about uh, how, you know, all the different um, classes would look. You know, it's a very straightforward thing. Just what a class is. It's, like, they are this. And they have these four cards that you can choose to upgrade, etc., etc. And that small thing is really, really cool. Thinking about all the different combinations. I think that the uh, the Steam page said, let me check. There are 12 different heroes, um, which in a game like this, like I, I think that thinking about 12 different heroes with all those different combinations, you could really create something interesting each time. Uh, I really like it. I don't know. I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. I can't speak to like the long-term replayability and stuff like that, but it looks like it's kind of got that sort of meta progression system as well. Seems to be baked into it, so there's that, but... I don't usually have a problem with that if it seems like your first run on the first difficulty they put you on is doable. This seems like it is to me so far. I have not really run into much issues yet, but I also saw that there were higher difficulties that you can unlock. So you could maybe go home, you upgrade your base, and you upgrade the difficulty level at the same time. And you kind of have that, and eventually you get to the max point where you have everything unlocked. And hopefully the highest difficulty level still poses a good challenge. But that is that. That's going to do it here for today. My name is Retromation, covering indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. I would say especially, especially if you like turn-based tactics roguelikes or turn-based tactics RPGs with like a little bit of roguelike or roguelite spin. I cover a lot of them. I've been really, really, really enjoying them recently. Uh, so you can definitely expect to see more. So make sure you're subscribed here to get notified when great new ones come out each and every day, well, eat roguelikes each and every day, not necessarily that pace for just that one specific subgenre, but hey, thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.